her 9000's game room. Bloodstained Ritual of the Night is a Metroidvania video game developed by Artplay and published by 505 Games. The game's development was led by former Castlevania series producer Koji Igarishi and is considered a spiritual successor to the series. In particular, I view it as a spiritual successor to Castlevania's Symphony of the Night, which is one of my favourite games of all time. Bloodstained was released for Microsoft Windows, the Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One in June 2019. And this is my review of the Switch version, which is the main platform I've played it on. The game was crowdfunded through Kickstarter, and it was one of the most successful video game Kickstarters ever, reaching its goal in about four and a half hours, and going on to meet various stretch goals. Now, for those that don't know what a Metroidvania game is, essentially it's a type of game where you have a large map and you work your way through it, but sometimes you'll find dead ends that you can't get past until you find a certain power or skill. Then when you find that power or skill, you'll go, oh, I can squeeze through gaps now, there was a gap I couldn't get through further back. And you kind of progress in that way, going backwards and forwards, finding secrets and applying your new powers to various puzzles and challenges. Now it's important to mention that when this game first released, there were some issues on Switch. There was some lag, complaints about the frame rate and the quality of the graphics, but this is one where you really have to give the game's developer and publisher credit, because they've released some patches. I've been playing this with the latest patch attached, and although I have seen the differences, and it, it really does improve it, if you previously thought I'm not going to bother, now's probably the time to jump on board. The game for me plays brilliantly, the controls are great, the graphics are wonderful, the sound is its brilliant. I really didn't expect the music in this game to be so good. If you've played the Castlevania games, this is a real spiritual successor, and it deserves to be super successful. I hope Bloodstained isn't just a one-off, I hope this is the start of a whole line of games. There's challenging boss fights, great exploration. Yes, I did find a little bit of remaining lag even after the patch in the Switch version, particularly when you're going around twisty towers, but it was manageable. All in all, I think this is a wonderful game and more people should play it. I'm about 70% through it. I've seen an ending, but I'm pretty sure there's a better one. But I really recommend you check this game out. Even considering the bits of lag and stuff, I'd give this game a 9 out of 10. Maybe that's because it's barking directly up my alley. It's the sort of thing I like. But there's so many different types of weapons, collectibles. There's a huge variety of enemies. You always seem to be able to find another hidden place. It's just the game, there's a lot of content there and a lot of variety. And I just think, you know, it's a great game on its own, but it's a fabulous starting block for a new series of games. Okay, thank you for listening. Uh, this is Kerr9000 signing off. Keep on gaming.